Dear students, good morning to all. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about the switching techniques. What is switching? In what are the switching types are there? Like circuit switching techniques, packet switching techniques, and message switching techniques. These techniques we are going to discuss in this video lecture. In unit one, we are going to discuss about uh, circuit switching techniques. It is under switching techniques. So before going to discuss about this lecture, we must be know that lecture outcome of this video. After listening to this video lecture, you will be develop a circuit switched in a circuit switched network and demonstrate the circuit switching. So what is switched network? A switched network consists of a series of interlinked nodes called switches. Okay. Already we have discussed about the topologies. In which topology we are going to use switches? Anyone? Okay. So normally in star topology we are using central controller. The each and every system have the dedicated link to the central controller. The central controller may be the switches. Okay. So wherever we are using switches, how the packets are transmitted from one node to another node that we are going to discuss here. These are the devices capable of creating temporary connections between two or more devices linked to the switch. In a switch network, some of these nodes are connected to the end systems. Okay. So once we are seeing that uh, diagrammatic representation of the switch network, you see that yellow color boxes are representing here. Uh, that is representing switches. Okay. So here uh, it is numbered also uh, number one switch, second switch, third switch, fourth switch, five switch. So this entire network, five switches are used for connecting the systems. These are the N systems A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. These systems are N systems. It is connected like this. The network is framed. The systems are connected with these respective switches. How the switching is working? It is according to the OSI layer. We know that in uh, switching in the physical layer, how it is working? That is uh, circuit switching. Okay. There are no packets exchanged at the physical layer. Switches at the physical layer allow signals to travel one path to another. So just remember that in circuit switching, they are forming the circuit, there is no packets are transmitted. The signals are transmitted from one device to another device. Okay, so that is called like circuit switches. So the switch network can be classified into three categories according to forming the switching networks. So this is physical layer we are used to the circuit switch as well as in whenever we are forming the circuit, we are sending the electromagnetic signals the signals may be transmitted from source to destination. Okay. So second, packet switch network. In the packet switch network, it may be used in data link layer also. In data link layer, what is the packet? Packet is frames. In data link layer, we are used to packet switching, but packets are like frames. Okay, frames are transmitted. But in network layer, there is a packet is there, packet we are transmitted in the network layer. Okay, so network layer also, we are used to packet switching network. In packet switching network, again classified into datagram network and virtual circuit network. That we will discuss one by one. Then finally application layer. In the final application layer, there is a messages is there, message switch network is there. Okay, so it is similar like packet switch, like message also switched from one node to another node that we are going to discuss in the further slides. Okay, so first one is circuit switch network. What is circuit switch network? Circuit switch network consists of a set of switches connected by the physical links. Okay, so physical links means wires. Uh, some wires is used to connect it. A connection between two stations is a dedicated path made of one or more links. Okay, that is circuit switch. First, we, we form the circuit. Then each connection uses only one dedicated 
channel on each link. Okay, so the link have dedicated link. Each link is normally divided. <coughs> Sorry. So each link is normally divided into n channels by using FDM, FDM and TDM. FDM means frequency division multiple access method and time division multiple access method. So according to this, the channels are divided and the signals are transmitted. Okay. So here you see that while you are seeing this, you can understand. You just read the sentence which is given in the top. A circuit switch network is made of a set of switches connected by physical links in which each link is divided into n channels. Okay. So the following diagram is represented. You just see here. So that links have we connected to uh, one link maybe in n channels. How it is transmitted? Multiplexing and team multiplexing methods are used. Here, three uh, links are connected with a single channel. That n channels, like one link is used, but channels are three different channels are there. Okay. So n channels are connected with a single link. Like that, the switches are connected and the multiplexing flexing techniques are used to this. okay so how the data is transmitted in the circuit network there is three set of phases are there okay so one is set of phase the bottom i given set of phase data transfer phase and tear down phase in set of phase connection will be set up from source to destination identify the particular uh, uh, network then data will be transferred finally that uh, link will be Cleared out. Okay, that will be cancelled. So the pink color uh, link is created from node A to M. Okay, so here the destination is M, source is S. So if you want to make the circuit main, how the circuit will be formed? The dedicated link is there to this switch one, and it will be sent through multiplexing mode. This link, then it will be forwarded towards switch four. And the switch three, finally, the destination is connected to switch three. The connection is established. The circuit is established and dedicated link will be allocated for transmitting this data from node A to name. That is circuit switch network. Okay. In circuit switching, the resources needs to be reserved during the setup phase. Okay. What happened once the circuit is established, the particular link, uh, it will be allocated for transmit of those uh, systems only. The resources remain dedicated for the entire duration of data transfer until tear down phase. Okay, so still completing the data transmission, the link is dedicated. Once the transmission is over, then the link will be expired. Okay. So you see this example. Let us use circuit switch network to connect eight telephones in a small area. Communication through 4 kilohertz voice channel. Normally, we know that the telephone line capability is 4 kilohertz. We assume that each link uses frequency division multiple access to connect a maximum of two voice channels. The bandwidth of each link is then 8 kilohertz because each link have 4 kilohertz, but we are using two voice channels. So, telephone 1 is connected to Seven and two is five, three to eight. So you see this diagram. Okay. So here, what it is happened? So first, uh, telephone is connected through this line using this uh, frequency division multiple access method, like using uh, multiplexing methods, and it will be connected to here. So how it is connected? What are the nodes it is connected? You see here. Okay. So. In this previous slide, they are given 1 to 7, 2 to 5, 1 to 7. So the dedicated link will be established like this. So here it is coming, so node 7. Okay, 2 to 5, where it is going again, second line. This, this dedicated line is going like this module and it will come here and it will go. Okay, so 2 to 5, it is connected dedicated link with Frequency division multiple access. Then what happened? 3 to 8, 4 to 6. Okay. So 3 number 6, 3 will be allocated dedicated link for node 8 and remaining 
4 is allocated for 6. Okay, it is connected to 6. Uh, like this, dedicated link will be created in the circuit switching network, then data will be transmitted. Finally, it will be closed. So that is how it is working. T1 lines leased from the communication service provider. So in case you read this example, okay, what they are given. Consider a circuit switching network that connects computer in two remote offices in a private company. So how it will be connected? So T1 line leased from the telecommunication service, then they are taken connection. Okay. There are four into eight switches in the network. 4 cross 8 means 4 input, 8 output, multiplexing, okay. So, that network, how switch, each switch 4 output ports are folded into the input ports to allow communication between computers in same office. For other output ports allow communication between the two offices. You see here, 2 4 cross 8 switches are used, okay. 2 4 cross 8 switches are there. How it is connected? The systems are connected their uh, one area. Okay, so this entire setup in one particular area, this is in another area. So how they are making that 4 cross 8? This 4 cross 4 means only 4 connections will be there. So 4 connection will be taken in the same local area connections and another 4 connected to remote area connections. Okay, so here also same thing. It will get 4 as remote area. Here this 4 are for local area connections. So in circuit switching network, what is the delay factor? First, we have to establish the connection. Okay, for connection, it will take time, the connection time, plus this is the data transfer time. Okay, so first bit starting here, last bit reaching here. Okay, up to this point, it is considered the data transfer. So up to this point is delay will be considered. Okay, disconnection may be tear down phase. Okay, so this time also may be there, but when we are considering the waiting time is data phase plus data transfer phase. Okay. So this is the circuit switch network concept. So finally we are calculating delay also for circuit switch network, how the circuit switch is uh, formed. Now you know what is circuit switch network and you are able to demonstrate how circuit switching is working. Okay, first establish the link then the data will be transferred till data transfer the waiting time will be considered our propagation time and uh, transmission time so everything will be considered for finding the delay of data transmission okay so now uh, some questions i kept for your uh, understanding purpose list three phases of circuit switching network you must be remember what are the phases are there Okay, just remember level question. What, what are the setup phase, then data transfer phase, then tear down phase. Tear down phase. Okay, so these three phases are there. Sketch is a circuit switching network for connect three companies which have eight system in each company. Okay. So three switches you have to draw. Okay. So each system how eight systems are connected with this system and what type of modulations or multiplexing required you can identify. Then you have to connect these three systems. How you can connect it? Identify the solution and come for discussion. Thank you very much. Uh, we will see the next classroom discussion topic as packet switching network. Any query is there, you just come for discussion in classroom discussion topic uh, while we are discussing the classroom. Thank you very much.